Quick facts. Chroma by Sonoscore, everybody. A Yamaha C3 Grand Piano turned into a cinematic scoring instrument with organic and hybrid cinematic sounds made for the free contact player, no full version required. 23 velocity layers, 6 articulations, key, brush, muted, mallet, chain and ebo that can be stacked and combined with each other and a customizable effects engine. A total of 91 presets for natural piano sounds like film, intimate, jazz or pop, and ambient textural or rhythmic effects. Close to 10 GB in size, one preset takes up roughly between 100 MB and 1 GB of RAM. You can switch presets with little to no loading time, adjust them and save your own. And if I had to summarize Chroma in three words, it would be hybrid done right. Chroma has six articulations, normal keystrokes, brushed strings, muted strings, mallets, chain, and Ebo. An Ebo is a small device that uses electromagnets to basically bow strings without needing a bow. It's pretty cool and allows for beautiful textural effects. Here's a brilliant thing. Not only can you select and change articulations with the icons on the left, but you can also stack them for some pretty awesome combinations. Each of these six articulations is displayed in one of the yellow lines on the center graphic. Playing notes makes the graphic come to life with animations. Very pretty. Yellow animations are for the piano articulations, red ones for the engine. You always have a visual representation of what's going on in your preset, and it's beautiful. The animations can be turned off as well. You can also change the volume of the mechanical part of the piano, like pedal noise and note on and off sounds, and adjust the velocity curve and dynamic range. There are four mic positions to further adjust and fine control the sound quality. One of them is particularly handy and called Rumble. It's a sub-kick mic which immediately adds depth with a sort of sub bassy tone on the low end. This is amazing for thickening up the sound and giving the piano presence in the mix. You can easily turn the effects engine on and off with one click and change its settings on the engine screen. Just like with the piano, the articulations are selected with the icons on the left. The engine articulations are independent from the piano ones. So you can combine, for example, key and mallet for the piano notes, but choose mallet and chain for the particles. You can tempo sync the particles or freestyle the values in milliseconds. And on the right, there are several effects options like delay, saturation and drive. With the mod wheel, you can dial the engine in, represented by the intensity bar on the top right. The entire system is intuitive and in no way overwhelming to me. It invites me to experiment with articulation combinations and effect settings to come up with interesting soundscapes, which I can then save as my own user presets. Sonoscore added 91 presets as starting points. They're organized in piano only, engine only, and combined presets. Also, you can browse by a natural versus cinematic piano sounds and rhythmic, circular, or granular particle effects. The piano only presets change the Yamaha C3's tone in a split second and offer a great variety, all responsive and satisfying to play.
combine presets then ramp things up and add evocative atmospheres, interesting rhythmic patterns and ambient textures that can be used in cinematic underscoring or contemporary solo pieces, mixing the piano sound with electronic elements. Here are some of the engine-only presets. Two things are essential for me when looking at hybrid piano libraries that feature both a natural piano sound and a cinematic effects engine. One, how good is the piano itself? And two, what value do the effects actually bring to the table? For number one, with the Yamaha C3, we got a very popular concert grand piano with a well-balanced and rich tone. But more than the tone itself, it's the feel when I play it on my MIDI keyboard that matters most to me in a piano virtual instrument. How the sound behaves when playing at different velocities, how well I can emphasize notes or play them quietly, and how it all comes together when playing the entire range from low to the highest notes. With 23 velocity layers, there's a good dynamic range on paper, and yep, Opening up Chroma with the standard presets already feels like home. I don't have issues switching from soft to loud notes, accentuating notes in a melody or overall adding expression to my playing. I really like the variety of piano-only presets with different reverb and EQ settings accessible with one click all within the same contact patch. Chroma is not a cinematic one-trick pony, but instead offers impressive standalone qualities. For number two, the effects engine is impressive. I am very happy that the effects articulations are independent from the articulations of the piano. Many other hybrid piano libraries simply generate particles based on the piano articulation you've set, and that's it. In Chroma, the engine morphs and shapes the sound into stunning atmospheres. It turns the piano into a synth, a hybrid pad, or a tonal rhythm generator. Let's be honest, there are quite a few hybrid scoring pianos out there already. Does the world really need Sonoscore's Chroma? I think so. Chroma does many things right. A beautiful, out-of-the-box sound, combinable articulations with easy control options, only one contact patch with lightning-fast preset switching, ready-to-go profiles for various intimate, film-scoring, jazzy, pop, bright and mellow ballad sounds, a usable effects engine that allows to combine articulations independently from the main piano that elevates Chroma's usability by a lot and doesn't feel like an afterthought, 91 diverse presets and an overall intuitive workflow that encourages you to save your own sounds. Yes, there are other modern scoring pianos out there and I have several of them. But to me, Chroma is one of the best, both for the basic piano sound and for the engine. Chroma is currently on interest sale for 119 US dollars with a regular price of 149. Check it out on Sonoscore's website, the link is down in the description. I wrote a little demo piece, it's Chroma only. Subscribe to the channel for more high quality composer content and I'll see you soon.